hasn't felt pressure from family or society to get married or start a family before it's too late. On today's case, Ms. Murdo says her biological clock is ticking loudly and she can't shake the desire to have another child. Ms. Murdo feels like she's being strung along long enough and she's done wasting precious time. She's fed up with masquerading as Mr. Lawrence's wife and wants him to put a ring on it already. If Mr. Lawrence is not ready to step up, Ms. Murdo is ready to move forward and find her happiness elsewhere. Let's hear their case. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Starr presiding. Your Honor, this is the case of Murdo versus Lawrence. Thank you very much. Ms. Murdo, Mr. Lawrence. Ms. Murdo, you say today's court appearance is either the beginning of a new chapter for you and Mr. Lawrence or the end of an old one. Yes, Your Honor. And Mr. Lawrence, you say you love Ms. Murdo, but her unrealistic expectations have you rethinking this entire relationship. Yes, Your Honor. I'm happy to have you both here today. Ms. Murdo, you brought this case today. Tell me why we're in court. Your Honor, we're in court today because Steve is full of broken promises. He has strung me along for the last two years. We had an agreement that we were going to be, um, you know, we were going to get married, we were going to have, have a child, mm -hmm. and it's two years later, and I am still don't have a ring. Um, and he's now full of broken promises. He's married to his job. He prefers his job over me, and so we're either going to do something about it, or we are um, ending it today. And uh, Ms. Murdo, I appreciate your candidness. Mr. Lawrence, you heard Ms. Murdo. She basically said it is time to fish or cut bait. What say you? I say that I love Marissa with all my heart, one of the best relationships I've ever been in. God knows the last few were disastrous. But no offense, Your Honor, she deserves better than a courthouse wedding. Mm -hmm. That costs money. It's going to take time. All I'm asking is a little bit of patience. Okay, so you say it's not a lack of desire, you're just not prepared financially or the family's not prepared to Correct. make it a, a marital commitment. Is that fair to say? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, I want to be real clear. You said that there was an agreement, Ms. Murdo, because you walked into the relationship thinking this is long term. Tell me how you met and how that agreement came to be. Your Honor, um, we, we met two years ago. Um, we actually met on Facebook dating. Um, I had just gotten out of a horrible, horrible, horrible relationship. Um, when I met Steve, he was, he was my everything. He was, he was the missing puzzle piece. It, did you all start dating right away or did you spend time getting to know each other? No, we actually jumped right into the relationship. We just kind of complimented each other. You vibed right away? Absolutely. That's a good thing to say. Mr. Lawrence, do you agree with Ms. Murdo? It was an instant connection? Absolutely. Uh, it was fast moving from the get go, but seems comfortable, so I just rolled. Mm -hmm. And you know, Ms. Murdo, it's interesting because you, I know that you came to the relationship uh, with a child, an adult child, um, who is here in the courtroom today, who we will get an opportunity to hear from later on. But um, how was uh, Mr. Lawrence uh, when it came to being? connected with your child? When I saw how Steve and my son connected, it warmed my heart. Steve brought my son out of his shell. And at that point, I knew he was going to be a great dad. And a long-term partner. And a long-term partner. OK, so tell me why you say it has not happened. And a lot of it, you say, starts with this job. Let me tell you. One time, I had planned a birthday party for my best friend. OK. I had this whole day planned in Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. And Steve knew about it. He had, like, four or six weeks. He told me, he told his boss that he was going to take the time off. OK. At the last minute, oh, sorry, I have to go on the road. But you have this commitment to me. So once again, he chooses his job over me. I get to be the fifth wheel at my best friend's birthday celebration because he left me high and dry. Your Honor, she knew that my schedule was going to have me on the road approximately about the time that the uh, party was supposed to take place. Did you talk to her ahead of time, Mr. Lawrence, and say, 
I can't guarantee you I can ask for the time off, but I can't guarantee I'm going to have it. Did you say words to that effect? I had told her that it looks like I might be able to make it for the trip, but it was very close on the time frame. So what I'm asking you is, did you all make a plan and did you break that commitment? Broke the commitment due to things happening. I got Your, stuck. Your my Honor, boss. I am tired. It's not my fault. My boss he is cheap always... and doesn't want to fly me in on time. Fly yourself. Where's all the money? You have the money. Where's it? I don't always get paid on time. You, you, you know could, this. You could have. You know you I don't always brought, get paid on time. You could have brought home a. T you could have paid yourself a ticket. Okay, Your Honor. Yes, ma'am. He comes home from from a road trip. And I'm home. I am sick as a dog. He comes walking in the door with two coworkers. He didn't ask if he can bring people home that I don't know to sleep on my couch. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Not just as dinner guests? No, no, Your Honor. They were there for almost a week. And they sat, laid on the couch. One of them, from the time he opened his eyes in the morning until the time he fell asleep, had a beer in his hand. Your Honor, he would sit there and he, there is nothing get me a beer. wrong with that. It's what his, he does on his own time. Okay, I brought that's, these that's guys fine. over. Excuse me, Miss Murdo. I want to hear this, Mr. Lawrence. I brought these guys home to try to look better for my boss, save the company a few bucks, save him a couple of plane tickets and a couple of hotels. What prohibited you from calling her from work saying, my boss has asked Ken two co-workers saved us? My job is as a live event manager for a micro wrestling company. I don't So now you have... just brought some wrestling people up <laughs> in the crib? <laughs> Micro wrestlers, Your Honor. Um, all of our competitors are under five feet tall. You clearly acknowledge to the public you think of her as that your wife. That should be more than enough for her. I'm not getting any younger. No. 40's the new 30, 30's the new 20. Mick okay, Jagger didn't have a kid till 74 years old. In theory, I still have 30 more years. You do, obviously. I don't. Unless there's some new technology that I'm not aware of, Mick Jagger didn't carry the baby at 70 <laughs> years old. But again, I don't judge based on height, weight, whatever. You done bought some wrestling people up in the crib. I'm also a live event show manager that I have to go set up the equipment, tear down the Mr. Sets. Lawrence, do you know these people? They're coming in from all over the, yes, the country and the world. Did Miss Murdo know them? Spoke with them briefly on the phone with me a couple of times. But I'm supposed to be okay with miscellaneous random men sleeping on my couch? I just want to make sure that I'm factually correct. You are correct. Ooh. You're not going to win this one. Mm -hmm. Next, <laughs> Miss Murdo. I know that we can go tit for tat back and forth on you did this, you didn't do this, you did this, you didn't do that. But the real core issue is you all have not gotten married and tick, 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 your correct. clock is ticking. Tell me what's going on with this marriage and baby. So he introduces me as his wife to people or he'll refer me to me as his wife, but... Where, I'm not his wife. Where Ms. Murdo, that's really funny because I can't tell you the number of times <laughs> people come in here, right, Robert, and they complain that their partner doesn't acknowledge them to the public <laughs> as the person that they are committed to. Mr. Lawrence, you clearly acknowledge to the public, to the world, that Ms. Murdo is the woman in your life, correct? Absolutely. And you think of her as that your wife. That should be more than enough for her. Well, I'm going to go back to the TikTok. I'm not getting any younger. 40's no. the new 30, 30's the new 20. Mick okay, Jagger didn't have a kid till 74 years old. In theory, I still have 30 more years. But I don't do, want to make I you don't. wait that long, You do, obviously. I don't. Unless there's some new technology that I'm not aware of, Mick Jagger didn't carry the baby at 70 <laughs> years old. That's fine, but at the same time, these babies cost money these days. It's 2023. So they let's want talk about iPads, what the real. iPhones, let's talk about Xboxes what the real issue right out of first grade. You have every right to say you're not ready. Please do not think that you have to be ready to be a father. Oh, I'm absolutely ready emotionally and physically. Financially is another story. It's you're never going to be ready interest. financially. Kids cost a billion dollars. <laughs> you're never going to be ready. You have to determine whether or not you want to have a baby because if you don't want to have a baby with Miss Murdo, you need to say that because you are depriving her of the ability to have that baby. Plain and simple.
but you can't string her along, sir. I'm not trying to string her along. I, I would don't have, have kids I would, have I would love to have much a kid. more respect for him if he told me I'm not ready. But all this time, it's yes, 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 yes. But don't you know how to get pregnant? If you want a baby and he says it's okay? Yes. You know, he's always too tired. Mr. Lawrence, you don't want to have a baby right now, do you? Not right now, maybe months from now, maybe a year from now. What's the rush? Uh, Ms. Murdo? What's the I don't rush? Know, I don't know what <laughs> it is that matters to you, but he may not want to say it out of his mouth, but I will say it for him. He does not want to have a baby right now. If that's good enough for you, then stay in the relationship. If it's not, then you're going to have to bounce. It's been two years. Tick-tock, Mr. Lawrence, tick-tock. I'm three years older than you. Let's get it, bro. It's clear You need that money you're... for all of that stuff, and I can't bring the money home if I'm not on the road. If I'm not on the road, I should be in Texas right now. But, but you're in divorce you. court. <laughs> I'm here for you. I should be in Texas right now on a show. You brought a witness, Mr. Anthony Mirto, but you notice he is joining the defense table. I am Marissa Murdo's child. I am currently defending uh, Mr. Stephen Lawrence. My mom nags. I think she needs to chill. Your Honor, she wants a baby, but she needs to focus on her happiness over a baby. I don't think a baby is going to bring happiness. It's going to bring a lot more stress for her. If you'd like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Missed a show? Watch full episodes on our streaming platforms and follow us on social media for exclusive content. Well, Mr. Lawrence, um, I want to know the kind of man you are because right now... Um, you know you sound a little sketchy, but I think you brought a witness that would 100% disagree with me, and I'd love to hear from that witness. As I understand, Mr. Anthony Mirto um, is here. Join us, Mr. Mirto. But you notice he is joining the defense table, uh, which says to me that uh, you have a couple of things to say about this relationship. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Murdo, will you introduce yourself to the court? Uh, my name is Anthony Murdo. I am Marissa Murdo's child. Uh, I am currently defending uh, Mr. Stephen Lawrence. And what do you know about this relationship since you've been around for the last couple of years? So, I know that they do make each other very happy. I can tell. They do. Um, but they do lack communication. Mm -hmm. Even with me. You sat here and listened to some of the testimony um, I get the feeling that this is typical of how one says one thing and the other is not listening or not yes. hearing. Yes, Your Honor. Your Honor, he's turned my son against me. Um, I don't get the feeling that young Mr. Murdo is against you. I get the feeling that young Mr. Murdo just has an opinion that the two of you need to communicate better. Mr. Murdo, why don't you make your case yourself? Well, Your Honor, uh, Mr. Lawrence is like a stepfather to me. Yes, he is. He has been around for two years, and that's not a long time, especially for me to warm up to someone. And you're an adult man. Exactly, Your Honor. It's a little weird for me, but at the same time, I understand that he loves my mother, and I understand that he wants the best for all of us. Have you seen any indication that he is not the man he proclaims to be when he's on the road? Do you worry about him cheating? Do you worry about him not being trustworthy? Your Honor. Worry about him not bringing money home on time? Do you worry about any of those issues? No, Your Honor. The same person you see here in the court is the same person you see at home, and it's the same person you see at a job. So he's consistent? Yes. Yeah, he, I, I don't disagree that he is a hard-working man. He definitely... He, he does work hard. But, Your Honor, if he's such a hard-working man, the math ain't mathin'. Where's the money? My mom nags. I think she needs to chill. While Steve is trying his hardest to get money, my mother is also not pulling in a lot of money for herself. And so she's now relying on another person to, for her own funds. Your Honor, I work full time. And I have this one time I was relying on Steve to help me out of a hard place and help out with the rent. 
I was stuck. I was stuck. Your Honor, she wants a baby, but she needs to focus on her happiness over a baby. I don't think a baby is going to bring happiness. It's going to bring a lot more stress for her. So let's evaluate that. Mr. Murdo, I appreciate your time. I appreciate your um, insight into this relationship. Ms. Murdo, you came today because you said you're tired of Mr. Lawrence putting his job first, but really it's the broken promises that have made you question whether or not this is a long-term relationship. You say he can hit the road if he's not ready to commit. Ms. Lawrence, you have said that you're here because you do want to save this relationship, and I believe you, sir. Um, you say you want nothing more than to marry Ms. Murdo and have a baby. That I don't absolutely believe. You say you want her to be a little more patient for the wedding bells um, because they will come. There's clearly not an alignment of what you both want. Ms. Murdo said that there are promises that you made, but you have not fulfilled them. It is not unreasonable for Mr. Lawrence to say, this is not the time for me. I'm not there. That's not unreasonable. Um, I don't find him to be a dishonest person. Um, I do think that he has been dragging his feet for whatever reason. You've not provided this court with a reason other than finances, which is a legitimate reason. But if that's not something that you're ready to do right now, Mr. Lawrence, the only fair thing to do is to say that to Ms. Murdo. And that's what a lot of people don't want to do. Are you ready, Mr. Lawrence, to take this to the next level yet? She's putting the pressure on me to do it now. Seems like everything has to be done this way. I would rather let it just evolve organically. So the answer is no. You're not ready now. As of this moment in time, no. Ms. Murdo, you've heard exactly what Mr. Lawrence's position is. So, in the proverbial words of children all around the world, <laughs> tag your it. <laughs> it's now up to you. Yeah. And if that works for you, go with Society's God. Enjoy. Put the pressure on us You're as not... men to do this, and now th when women's clocks start ticking, they start getting on the men and. Society doesn't put the pressure on men. You know what puts the pressure on men? The women that they make a commitment to. If you say, move in with me, and within the two years, we're going to get married and start planning our family, then at those two years, I'm going to come to you and I'm going to say, so, it's time to do what or get off the pot? Because that's what you said. Now, if you told me I'm not sure where this relationship is going. Let it evolve, and I'm going to need you to be patient. Then I would have had to make a decision whether or not I was going to join you on that journey. Ms. Murdo, I may be speaking your language, but it's you that's got to communicate that effectively. Yeah, I, and... I can't do this. If I, I want bare bones minimum, I want marriage. You I, could have I, the wedding you want, but 5000 for a venue, three, 4000 for a dress, a couple thousand for a DJ. Okay, we I, had two I'm years. not made of money. We, we had to... But we've, we've been planning this for two years. I we, could be here with you both all day long. I you deserve it. Your values, your goals, your needs are not aligned. Sometimes a relationship is here for a time, a reason, or a season. You have to answer, is the time up, the reason over, and has the season changed? I don't know why you gotta put me through this all the time. It's just ridiculous. Well, be straight up with me. Just tell me what you want. I've told you what I wanted. Okay, You've then, told me then, what you wanted. Then I, I think I need to be done. Well, Robert, uh, time, reason, and season mm -hmm. of any relationship, that clearly is going to peter out, but I don't think she's going anywhere. No, she's not going anywhere, but I still don't know who who has ever planned for a baby. It just happens. And if it doesn't just happen, especially at this age, it may not happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I have to tell you, we gotta go back to the old sayings. Never let a person tell you more than once that they don't want you, because he don't want her. Mm -mm. <laughs>
made in Georgia.